Good morning from me and Anna. We're on our parkrun tourism and travels. Where are we today, Anna? London. And we've come to Victoria Docks, as you can probably tell from the cable cars in the background that we're looking forward to those later, aren't we? Yeah. So we came down last night on the trains. You came down on the trains. I was already here in London. You joined us. I met you at Euston. We've enjoyed a night at Premier Inn. Had some breakfast already. In our case, you haven't yet, have you? You weren't ready for breakfast at that time in the morning. So we've got to find you some breakfast later still. And then we are going to enjoy a day of part and fat in London, aren't we? And last night for tea, we we said it was his birthday, and then we and then they brought him a cake. Yes, I, it's my birthday weekend, so I got brought a chocolate brownie cake with a candle in by the Premier Inn folk, didn't I? <laughs> you embarrassed me, and they sang happy birthday to me, so you embarrassed me thoroughly. So. Let's go and find out about this park run and enjoy running around Victoria Dock, shall we? Yep. PB time? Mm, I don't know. You don't know. We'll see you on the park run. towards the end, following the dark path all the way down towards the back of Excel. When you get to when you get to the Marshall point there, go around the Marshall, come back up to the silver building here, back up towards the Excel, and then when you come back the second time, come back round into here, into the finish just over there. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! From Victoria Dock Parkrun. How you doing, Ayanna? Did you notice something up there? What did you see? Did you notice the sign that says every unattended child? Yeah. Because it's like um gets a, a free drink or something or a free puppy. Yeah. In other words, make the child hyper and then return it to the parents. Yeah. <laughs> don't like that idea. <laughs> Better make sure I don't leave you unattended. Kit. One of the most informal, relaxed starts to parkrun that I think I've been on. Just <laughs> seemed a very informal start, but really nice just to see that. Hey, we'll just rock up and we do a parkrun. What a beautiful setting for it and a funky setting as well. The clouds look a bit menacing behind that, but what amazing views to enjoy as we're running. I love these old cranes by the side of the docks that would have been here to unload, unload the ships. Great grey structures uh, reaching up to the skies. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a restaurant. No, <laughs> this hotel is right by the start of the park run, but it was a little outside of my budget for a night stay before a park run. It would be very convenient and quite special. Stay on a boat, board in the docks. Being an out and back course, we've already got the fast ones running back towards us as we run out. We're two times out and back before we do the final bit to the finish. Beautifully flat and all interesting boats over at the side of us. If I remember rightly, the one just over there was one that the Sea Scouts are working on and restoring. I remember seeing it one time when I was here at an exhibition, staying over that way and having a little explore around. As you're running back on the back section, get the amazing views of the city in front of you. The skyscrapers, the bridges, see the Millennium Dome in the distance as well. Amazing. I love this. What we got? Alligator. So 
this bridge just here is quite unusual. There's no ramp, gentle ramp up to it. You either have to catch the lift or the stairs up to the top. <laughs> Over there now you get a really good view of the Millennium Dome and you can also see the swimmers open water swimming here in Victoria Dock. Be a lovely way to cool off after Parkrun I think. We're back out on our second lap, back out through the under the cranes, out to the cone and back we go again. That's the plan. Obviously, one of the main things on this park run is you run by the Exile Exhibition Centre, well known to anybody who's the London Marathon as the place you come to get your number and of course get tempted by lots of running kit and walk far too far the day before your marathon normally. But <laughs> yep, a couple of years ago when I last did London Marathon, I remember queuing up for hours in here it was all a bit chaotic that particular year in terms of how they'd organise the backdrop and everything. Oh, that's not a memory I want to repeat. So Iona appears to be in a race with a young lad who's doing part of it as well. They keep passing each other, the 10 and the 50 numbers racing each other for who's going to be first to finish today's park run. Oh, I keep having to do sprints to keep up. Always feels a bit special when you spot somebody in a 500 t-shirt. We were having a chat with Robert before we started, who's going up to our home park run in a couple of weeks time because it's his 600th park run and it'll be Coventry's 600th event. So a perfect conjunction. One of the things, of course, you could just fly into this park run. We're just a short walk away from London City Airport. It was right opposite the hotel we we're staying at. So one of, the, one of the joys as you're running along is the aeroplanes taking off overhead. We're coming into the finish, we can see it just ahead of us. Let's round this marshal for the last time. And that's it, Iona. Oh, Off we go. Oh, that's right, wait, that way, that way. That way. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done. Uh, there you go. So we've done Parkrun, how was it Iona? Good. Right, now are we going to go and jump on a cable car? Yeah. Jump on it? No. On the top of it? No! <laughs> you want, you'd rather travel inside it? Yeah. Let's go and find out how we get the and tickets then. I showed the person that we were going around with, slash racing, my flexibility skills. I see. Right, let's go and get on this cable car, wait for Mummy to join us, and get over to Greenwich. Oh, Well, we've done the cable cars, Iona. I reckon they definitely deserve a ranking. What do you rank for cable cars out of five? Five. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Was it a bit different? Yes. 
Do you reckon you could cope with that as a way of getting top park run each time? Mm, maybe. <laughs> I'd probably get used to it if I did it many, many times. You reckon you get used to it then, would you? Well, we can do it again when we come do a couple of the other park runs down here, can't like we? Like Thames Path. Like them. Thames Path, yeah. So, is it time for you? Because you haven't had a proper breakfast yet. Do you need some breakfast? I think so. Okay, let's find you a bit of breakfast. So I do like my electricity pylons, but I think this is the first time I've ever seen one upside down, head first into the ground. Apparently, it's a sculpture of a shooting star. Hi, Anna. You're enjoying your breakfast now, aren't you? What have you gone for? I went for churros with cinnamon, sugar and chocolate. Is it nice? Yes. What are you going to rate it as? Five. It's like waffles almost. We've just been exploring the Greenwich Observatory. We've stood on the Greenwich Mean Line and enjoyed the fabulous view that there is from up here over London. Apparently, the best view of London you can enjoy. We've just been exploring a bit of the Greenwich Village lovely time in the market where i might have treated myself to some sangria for my birthday and some fudge and i got given to be extra because it was my birthday what can you not like about bonus fudge for your birthday now we're going to try yeah, and find the dlr to get us back to the hotel pick up our bags and go and explore a bit more <laughs> We're on the train, it's the journey home after a long day in London, has it been? Have you had fun today? What's been the best bits? Probably the Lego um, shop, yep. um, the cable cars, and yeah, ice cream for two, twice. Two lots of ice cream in one day, how bad is that? Yeah, we've done Lego shops, we've done we've done cable cars, we've been on the Greenwich Mean Line, we've done lots of things today haven't we? It's been fantastic and lots of walking, I don't know how many steps we've done but it's been a lot. So if you've enjoyed today's little adventure then what do they need to do Iona? Like, subscribe, put notification bell and share and comment. And hopefully we'll be home before midnight. See you on another little adventure soon. Bye!